Told you the game split, the first mistake that Draco made, going to a festival and he wasn't even supposed to perform there. When he knowing it's purge time in LA right now, especially if you got old murder beats and new beats and you a real cocky guy like Draco is. He a real cocky dude. He a real disrespectful dude when he get in his bag. Once Draco get in his bag, he a real disrespectful dude. He a real cocky dude. So, you know, the other side of it some type of way about that. Neighborhoods like Inglewood, Alleged, other blood neighborhoods, other Crips that don't like you, they gonna feel some type of way about that and they ain't gonna forget. And when the perfect time come, like right now in this purge, a lot of violence, a lot of crime happening. So this is the perfect time to attack. This is the perfect time to do drive-bys. This is the perfect time to do stabbings because it's so much crime. So that means the police is overworked. So they can't get to every case because there's so many cases right now, so much violence, so they can't be on every scene. So if you're the breadwinner like Draco is, you don't got no business going to no festivals unless you're supposed to perform. And if you do, you got to beef up your security, not just your homeboys. You got to have real security in your homeboys. That security be for them situations like you just ran into, gang fights, because in gang fights, they got these right here. And you know them Inglewood boys, alleged. You know the Bloods. You know L.A. dudes, Crips. Mexicans and I'm out of Asians, Chinese dudes, they know how to work these right here real good from the penitentiary. LA dudes always knew how to work with the knives. You know that does so. So yeah, you're supposed to beef up your security besides your gang partners because you so crypt to the heart that when it's gang war time, when it's time to fight, you're gonna fight because you so true to the blue team. So yeah, you're gonna forget who you are. You're gonna forget your status and your purpose in life that you the exit out of LA. You the exit out of California. You the breadwinner. So your real security with guns, they'll be able to stop situations like that because they'll up them poles. Y'all got knives, so y'all just got y'all fists, but they'll be able to up them poles and not go to jail because they security. They got the right to carry guns and all that dust. So the other side, they'll be ready for fights and stabbings and all that dust, but they're not ready for the gunplay in them type of situations until they get back to the cars or back to the neighborhood or to the red light. So it would just lead y'all to exchange words back and forth. And then in due time, the real police will come because it'll cause the scene and guns getting drawn. So people are called 911. So the other side, they ain't gonna stay that long because police coming if the security not police itself. You see what I'm saying? So when you're an important person like that, when you can meet Drake and you can hang with Drake and you got big superstars loving you, you can go on radio stations and you finna make it big. Yeah, so you can't put yourself in situations like that because the real mission is to kill you. That's the real mission. As long as we get that done, as long as we stab you or rob you, take your jury or anything, as long as we win the battle or the war, yeah, that's all we need. It don't matter what soldier we lose on our end because he's just a foot soldier, but if we kill your big dog in the midst of the fighting, we win. We win the war. It's past the battle. Anytime the big dog drop, we win the war. The war we had between y'all, we win that there because we hit a big dog. So the other side just went up that many points on the scoreboard because they knocked down the big dog. Game politics in effect. But even if y'all gonna be so cocky and you still gonna go to festivals like that, anytime a gang fight finna happen, your crew, your crip set gotta push you to the side. You can't intervene in them type of fights. Only in prison that you can do that there. Or if it's like a one-on-one -on -one type situation. But when it's four or five of them, six of them, seven of them, and it's a crew of y'all, click of y'all, you can't do that there because you don't know when these gonna pop out. Yeah, you don't know when these gonna pop out. You don't know if it's an all fist fight type of situation. You don't know if a dude got a little 38 in his pocket, anything. So yeah, you the main target. They don't see nobody but you. I'll take a couple punches from your members and your crew just to get to you. If I can kill you, if I can stab you to death. Yeah, I'll take that death because I'm gonna get rewarded once I get back to the set. Once we get back to the hood, I'm gonna get rised up in rank. I'm gonna get rewarded. I'm gonna get money, whatever. I'm gonna get whatever, whatever type of game politics you get for knocking down a big dog. I'm gonna get that death because I completed the mission. And the mission was to knock you down. And unfortunately, that's what happened. So anytime you a meal ticket or you the gateway out of the old lifestyle, the old game banging lifestyle, y'all gotta rehearse certain type of situations like that right there. Y'all gotta know y'all plans. Y'all gotta know what to do. I gotta move a certain type of way. You gotta have bulletproof vests to cover up the neck so you can take the stabbings in the neck. You can take the stabbings in the chest or the back or the side. You gotta wear that there. You gotta get the t-shirt. If the vest too loud, you gotta get the t-shirt. If you're a convicted felon, you gotta get the t-shirt. Cause one thing about them LA game members, they don't forget, especially if you had a murder beef or a type of brawl or something like that. They ain't gonna forget. They just gonna wait until the perfect time to get you. And Last night was the perfect time to get you. You think Inglewood forgot about Red Bull? How can he forget about Red Bull when every time they go to the convenience store or the grocery store or the bar, the club, they see Red Bulls, they see cans of Red Bull. So it's always gonna remind them of Red Bull. And it's always gonna remind them of you because they see you on YouTube. They see you doing your thing. You rising up. You with Drake and all that stuff. So yeah, 
they're gonna want some get back for that duh. Let alone the new stuff you get into. The new stuff you get into with that same neighborhood, alleged. So yeah, they still gonna wanna get you. They gonna never forget because you still in LA, you still in their face, you still disrespecting, you still getting into new altercations. And like you got your money and fame and moved to New York or down south or Midwest, you stayed in LA or you stayed in California, wherever you was at, you stayed. So you stayed repping in their face. So it was only a matter of time where you had to kill one of them again or they was gonna get you. Either at a concert, at a red light, at a bar, at a mall, anywhere, at an ice cream shop, it don't matter. Anywhere, they was gonna get you. Convenience store, baby mama house. Yeah, they was gonna get you eventually, or you was gonna get them, vice versa. One of your biggest downfall that night was you was too true to the blue. So anytime your blue team get into an altercation, you all in. You all ten toes down, you all in. So yeah, that was your downfall. You didn't know how to miss a fight. That was it. You didn't know how to miss a fight. You're supposed to fall back. You're supposed to get put up because they're going to hit you harder. They're going to stab you harder because you're the main target. You're the breadwinner. You're the one who draw blood from the other side. Or you was in a car. Or you was in a situation. You was involved in a situation that made them draw blood from Red Bull. Alleged, right? So, yeah. They ain't going to forget that death. Plus, the new shootouts, the new fights you got into a bit with that side, alleged. Or any disrespect you did on videos with that side, alleged. They just add on. It just add on and pile up. So yeah, of course your team will call Inglewood Bloods the B-word or call them out their name or you'll throw YG name in it. Y'all just saying that because y'all don't like them. Not because they really the B-word. Not because of that. Not because y'all can go over to Inglewood and just walk through Inglewood and smack everybody and they don't do nothing and y'all ain't got no weapons on y'all. Nah, that ain't the case. Anytime somebody say that, they just saying that because they don't like them. But that's not the real case. Vice versa with y'all, they can say the same thing about y'all, but they don't mean y'all really like that. They don't mean they can just come through the crib neighborhood and they can smack everybody, they can rob everybody, and not nothing happen to them. Nah. So of course y'all say that. That's the only thing you can say after the aftermath. That's the only thing you can say, or just keep sliding and keep riding. That's the only thing you can do is call them out their names or slide. That's it. So yeah, vice versa, that's how it go. A lot of breadwinner game members, they got talent fail because they play too many positions. They want to be the foot soldier, the lieutenant, the sergeant, the captain, the boss, the CEO, yeah, the rap star, the quarterback, the runner back, the ride receiver, everything. They want to play every position, the husband, all that there. The gang leader, everything. They want to do everything. That's going to get them killed every time. You're supposed to just be the rapper, the breadwinner, not put yourself all the way back down to the foot soldier. But how can you do that there when you're so true to the blue team? How can you do that there when you're so true to L.A., you're so true to California? When you see your team fighting, you feel like you got to be a part of that there because you're a real crip. And you can't let your members go out there, there especially if you see them losing. And you're going to put yourself in that static right there, and you're going to lose most of the time. Sometimes you're going to win just like you won with Red Bull. Yeah, when it was Red Bull time to go, y'all won. And this time, the devil, like I always say, Satan, he passed the murder ball. He passed the murder ball. Satan is not stingy with that murder ball. He's just not going to let you keep winning. Y'all won against Red Bull, and you lost against this one. Yeah, y'all won against Red Bull, but you lost against this one because Satan going to pass that ball. It's their turn now. Satan not going to just let y'all keep rapping. Now it's time for the other side to rap. Now it's time for them to shine. They beat the murder case, or they can't figure it out, or they just keep going back and forth. See how that work? Yeah, so Satan love all his children, even though they still die. He love all his children, so he gonna pass that murder ball. He ain't gonna just keep it in the crip hands. He gonna pass that murder ball just like he just did. Yeah, and you didn't dodge the ball. When it was dodgeball, the bloods got a nine, alleged. The bloods got a nine. When they threw the ball, you failed at the dodgeball game. You failed. Yeah, you failed at the dodgeball, and you failed, and they got you. And that's what happened to most game members. That's what happened to most street guys. There's dodgeball like here. You got hit with the ball. You couldn't duck it. You couldn't duck it. Sometimes it'd be a bullet. It'd be FMJs, a hollow. Sometimes it'd be a knife, a kitchen knife, a street knife, a military knife. Sometimes it'd be just by fist. Yeah, sometimes it'd be by a car. Sometimes it'd be about a lot of different things. So yeah, you never know when it comes to that street life, when it comes to the gang life. You just gotta be prepared. You gotta know what situations you gotta put yourself in and what situations you gotta keep yourself out of. You just gotta know, you gotta be smart. You can't be cocky. You can be cocky far as like being a rapper, but you can't be cocky far as like real type of street issues. Because eventually you're gonna lose the war. And when you lose the war, you die. When you lose a battle, you know, that's just going to jail or getting shot or getting stabbed and you survive. Car accident, you survive. But when you lose the war, the book closed and you die. Gone.